Hello everybody, this is Jeff and today we've got a really awesome car mukbang for you guys. We're here eating at Lotta Burger. Lotta Burger is a really cool restaurant that's mainly in New Mexico. So stick around and see what we have to eat today. So, today I've got my friend Lauren here with me today, and Lauren's niece, Miss Brianna, in the back. So, we're all going to be hanging out today in the car and eating food. So, what did you guys get? Um, so, I always get the Lotta Burger and I get seasoned fries. So the Lotta Burger offers like just regular fries and seasoned fries and I love their seasoned fries. And I also got a bowl of chili just with cheese and it's amazing, it's spicy, but it's so good. Okay, what did you get, Brianna? So I get the kids now and I got a cheeseburger and some regular fries and some fries and some chili. Right on, that sounds really good. I'm kind of a creature of habit, so whenever I come here, it's always a double meat burger with cheese, green chili, and bacon, and fries, and a large drink. And the really cool thing about Lotta Burger is the green chili that they use is sourced from actual Hatch green chili fields in Hatch, New Mexico. So not only is Lotta Burger mainly in New Mexico, but they also use green chili only from New Mexico. And it's really good. If you've never tried Hatch green chili, you're really missing out because the green chili from where you guys are from, it ain't that good. So give it a try. Uh, so we're gonna get started eating. So these are seasoned fries. Um, I didn't specify when I was ordering, so I got the regular fries, these regular french fries. These, they have a really cool seasoning that they uh, shake on them uh, before they deep fry them. They're really good. So today is Saturday, and I don't know if you guys have already checked, but I did upload a video this morning of last weekend's uh, trip that we went on. Me and my best friend Kalea and my friend and her boyfriend Tyler and Kalea's mom, we all went to Albuquerque, New Mexico last weekend and we attended the 2019 Food Truck Festival of America Festival in um, they are having it at the Balloon Fiesta Park. So that was a lot of fun. There was a lot of food, uh, a lot of different types of food trucks there. They also had um, a lot of beer tents, which Tyler and I took advantage of. And then after that, we did some traveling around, eating at different places. So check that video out, it is out. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on all the videos. And keep an eye out because videos are going to be coming out more regular now. The chili that Lotta Burger has, when Lauren said that she had ordered the chili, I was thinking green chili, but she meant like chili con carne, and it looks really good. It's so good. You can get it with onions. I don't really like onion bread, so I get it without onions, so I always just get it with chili. And then they give you like these little oyster crackers with it. Pretty good. I'm going to try the chili. I've never had I've never had the chili before, but it looks really good. It looks really cheesy. It's so good, a little spicy, but it's good. It's messy, but it's good. Okay, Miss Brianna, how's your food? Good. What did you get again? You got a cheeseburger kids meal. Yeah. That's cool. Yep, I love getting kids meal. Right on. Do they give you a toy in your kids' meal? No. Really? No. No toys? No. That's okay, I guess, huh? Yeah. And you got a brownie too, right? Yep, right here. Right it's on. so good. 
What do you like best about the brownie? About the chocolate chips in it. Mmm. It makes it chocolatey. Right on. Okay. So, of the burger I got, it's double meat, and I asked them to put on some cheese and green chili and bacon. Their burgers are the best. I don't know. There's just something about Lake Salada Burger. If you're ever driving through New Mexico or if you live in New Mexico, you're blessed because you can have this anytime. So we're all eating now and definitely enjoying our food. How's your burger, Lorna? It's good. I think the one thing I love about Lana Burger is the fact that they put mustard in the hamburger. Like one of the things in the hamburger. That's like the one thing I really love. The bacon is always so good. And then the green chili really makes the whole burger experience better. Have you tried their hot dogs? I do. Their hot dogs that they have here are the Jumbo Nathan's brand hot dogs and they are so good. Wait, did you get smothered in chili? No. You should try it. I never tried that. I'm sure they have it with cheese too and onions. And Lauren was talking to one of the workers at the front counter. They have a, is it a fish sandwich? Yeah, so it's like fish and chips. Um, and it's new at Lauderburger, but when I was talking to the um, worker, she said that um, they actually, um, you can get the tartar sauce and put like the hatch green chili and mix it together. And she said it's so good. So I definitely want to try that. That's my next thing I want to try here. When she said <clears throat> that they could mix green chili in with the tartar sauce, I was sold. I got to try it. The green chili is always so fresh and it always tastes so good. Does the green chili be getting hot? Mm-hmm. I want to try it, but I just I'm too scared. The only thing I don't really like about burger places, and I always forget, is I don't like when they put tomatoes on the burger because it makes the burger really squishy and makes the bun really squishy. So I was asking to take the onion or the tomato out and I didn't do that this time. I'm kind of opposite Jeff. I like the tomato in the burger and I think it gives great flavor along with like everything else in the burger. If I could find a way where it's not like so mushy, Did you see my Facebook post the other day where I shared that <clears throat> Albuquerque is getting an in and out? No. <laughs> Albuquerque is finally getting an in and out. New Mexico is finally getting an in and out. That's amazing. When is it going to be done? I didn't really give specifics, but as soon as I saw that in and out banner on that story, I had to share. I love in and out. I think the only thing I've liked on your Facebook thing is your change of profile picture. Oh. I was like, finally. For a while I've had the same profile photo for a long time. And finally updated it and it looks good. When we went to uh, Sandia's, Sandia Peak for the tramway ride, I took a picture way up there, 10,000 plus feet in the air. It was cold and snowing. So we'll see Jeff's Facebook profile picture the same for the next like 10 years mm -hmm. until he decides to change it. Because I don't change it very often. And I do have <clears throat> social media other than YouTube. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And you can find me all on the same thing, Sinister Nemesis. I didn't know you had Twitter. I should follow you. Mm -hmm. I don't get on it very much, but... So when you guys go on vacation, where are some favorite places that you guys like to go? Mm. 
We love Panera Bread so much. Um, that's one place we like to go. In and Out is another place we like to go. Where else do we go? When we're in Utah, which is a common place that we go, um, we usually go probably five, six, seven times a year because we have family there and that's where um, I used to live. Um, but Slab is the place that we go. It's a pizza place um, that's like one place like we enjoy going. Um, where else do we go? Oh, if you've gone to Disneyland, any place in Disneyland has the best food. You ever gone to the Plaza Inn, which is just down Main Street on the right hand side? They have the best fried chicken. And so you get like these three large pieces of chicken with mashed potatoes and vegetables. And it's about $20, and but it's so worth it and so good. I love Panera Bread. <clears throat> I didn't get any footage of it this past weekend, <clears throat> but we also ate at. Uh, Cheesecake Factory for dinner it was really good. Really good. What did you get? I got a grilled green chili sandwich with uh, French fries. Creature of a habit, I like French fries. There's a place we went to in Seattle. It was like this, oh, I don't remember, but it was an Asian food place and they, it was so good. Do you remember what it was called, Brianna? But it was really, really good, and um, they have these steamed, like it has like like a pork bun type thing, like the pork mm. inside of it, and they like these steamed buns and stuff. Mm. And they're big, and like, and they're once you bite into it, it's so good. That sounds really good. I love Asian food. Um, it's one of the few cuisines that I can actually cook really well, as well. I love Asian food, especially Japanese food. Jeff always talks about all his food he eats, and I've never had anything. I finally had some rolls. Pork buns are the best. One of these days I'm gonna do a video of Jeff's food, of me trying it, to see if it's actually really good. People say it's good. I don't know. And I know I probably shouldn't be so boastful, but I make really good brisket too. Probably the best here in our area where we live. I've never had your brisket. It's good. Slow roasted, low and slow. Slow roasted, low heat. <laughs> Secret spice rub makes it really good. I don't cook at all, so I usually like to eat out a lot, or my family cooks, so I just depend on them to feed me. Do you know how to cook, Brianna? How do you cook the eggs? One night around midnight, I think it was around midnight, I was like hungry and then Brianna was like, I made you some scrambled eggs. And so I had her make me some scrambled eggs and it was so good. So I hear that <clears throat> little Miss Brianna is also really good at sports. So today, um, her and her, is it a softball? Baseball softball? Fast pitch. Fast pitch. Her and her team were having a scrimmage, scrimmage today, and <clears throat> that's where she was till uh, we all got here to Blake's to eat. So aside from eating, I work full time and I also have 
a business on the side, which keeps me busy most of the time. Um, and I have good support from family and friends. I try to get Jeff to come work for me, but he doesn't want to. Um, and so, so I do that. I just work full time, have a little business going on. And then I like to travel. I think my favorite place that I've traveled to would have to be San Francisco. Just mainly because of like, I love the culture and like the weather is amazing there and the people are amazing. And of course you gotta judge the food and the food's amazing. Where's your favorite place you've been? My favorite place <clears throat> that we were recently was Little Tokyo in LA. I had probably the best bowl of actual authentic ramen there. Oh my gosh. Really good. Pork, tonkatsu, broth, good chewy noodles that weren't overcooked. Um, it was just perfect. I really enjoyed it. Cooked by actual authentic Japanese people. So the ramen was extra special. So a <clears throat> little bit about her business, it is a legal business. It's just in sweatshop condition. <laughs> Pretty much he doesn't want me to pay him in hot Cheetos and Dr. Pepper. That's why. She makes hair bows. And they're pretty cool. Um, I'm expanding my business to make bow ties. So Jeff's one of the, I'm prototyping right now. So what prototyping is, is you figure out kind of like the size, the style, what you want to do, what type of clip it's going to be, um, how, um, just like the fabric that you want it. Um, so that's pretty much what prototyping is. It's just like the beginning stages of trying to figure out like what you're doing, what your product is. And so I have a group of men that um, that we're currently working right now to make bow ties for them and then we get feedback from them From there we make the adjustments and then we'll do another prototyping again and give them out Get more feedback. So starting in June I believe on the first of June bow ties will be available. So I'm super excited to expand business. It is very very stressful um, It takes a lot of time and energy to be able to try to figure this stuff out. But I have some school fabric that I got for Jeff that he's gonna be one of the guys that is gonna help me with my with bow ties. I'm really interested in <clears throat> trying it because kind of emo a little bit, especially in high school. Not a little bit. So <clears throat> I like anything with skulls or skull print and the skull fabric that she got with looks really really good <clears throat> she did show me a couple pictures of the a few bow ties that she made one of them had a, a skull fabric on there it was really really awesome you finished wow she never finishes her food it was good I still have some fries left but man that burger was good you want more chili? I'm done. I can't eat any more chili. There will be chewed up chili on the dashboard. Ew! So, one good thing about having a food channel is restaurants are always coming out with new things. And the newest thing that I saw that I thought was pretty cool was Little Caesars has a bacon wrapped crust on their pizza. Plus, they put bacon crumbles on top that I really want to try. Let's try that. I think we should try that next. It looks really good. It sounds really good. I love bacon. If you don't like bacon, I'm Shocker. really sorry. Because you're missing out. Bacon's really good. So, that's definitely going to be <clears throat> one of the next videos that I'll put up. And i got to make sure I get that before the restaurant decides not to carry it anymore. We're all done, we're stuffed. Little Miss Brianna back there finished all her food. For once. 
I finished my burger, Lauren finished her burger. And my fries, shocker. So, this is probably gonna do it for today. We're glad you guys came by. Keep an eye out for videos. They're gonna be out a lot more often. And we're gonna be going around trying different things. I'll be trying different places to eat, new things coming out. So thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. So we decided to come to Target. Looking around, we're in the It's our favorite spot. place ever. We're in the dollar spot. They only have the spider ones. Ooh, look, zits and warts. You can get this one. Okay, let's do it. So now we're in the Easter section looking around. We just finished looking at some stuff down on electronics. All kinds of cool stuff. Lots of Easter candy. Whole walls oh my gosh. of Easter candy. Starbucks jelly beans are Starburst. the bomb. Did I say Starbucks? Yeah, you said Starbucks. <laughs> Starburst. These are so good. <laughs> So I'm gonna have Starbucks on the brain. And Cadbury eggs. Cadbury eggs are pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Now we're in the snack aisle. Lauren and Brianna are picking up lots of snacks for tomorrow. Target always has really good snacks. Tomorrow we are um, going to be listening to Modern Day Prophets and Apostles, so go to churchofjesuschrist.org or if you have cable or whatever, it's under BYU TV. And it's tomorrow at 10, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. 10 p.m. 10 a.m. <laughs> so now we're at the Starbucks getting some drinks. <clears throat> Lauren got a violin, Brianna got a pink, and I got my usual iced americano it's plain strong color we just got out of target and picked up some really cool snacks so <clears throat> miss brianna's gonna do some uh taste testing and lauren's got a snack haul. so we got this one we've never tried it and we at our house like love fruit gushers like any type of snack we're upset with snacks pretty much so we're gonna try this all of us so there, are these, there are these little pouches. And the flavor so sweet and fiery. So inside the pouch is hot mango, fiery peach, and spicy watermelon. So I'm excited to try it. What color? Which one is that? So I'm thinking this one is the fiery peach. Or no. This is a hot mango. It smells like lotion. It doesn't smell like anything to me. So this one's like a, a pink colored one. Spicy watermelon? So it's probably spicy watermelon. So I just had the fiery peach and it didn't give me like a tang until like after. Does it taste good? Which one did you get? Yeah. Okay, I think this one. I just oh. squirted. Definitely. Just keep chewing, it might hit me afterwards. Okay, and this one is the hot mango, it's green. There's some heat to it. And fiery peach. The hot mango, I didn't really taste anything. Woo, it did. The watermelon. I only got one watermelon. The peach tastes like it should be like a chipotle burrito. The watermelon is my favorite. I love the taste. 
And the green one is the hot mango. I'm gonna do five fiery peaks. Wow. They're pretty good. They are hot. Spicy. Yeah, spicy. Definitely. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna try them again. I still say the peach tastes like it should be in a chipotle burrito. The watermelon is so good. Watermelon is good. This is our next one. So I have nieces that love the mochi ice cream and so we got the strawberry one. Have you tried these? I've not tried that brand, but I have tried mochi ice cream. They're dusty. No. You can see inside of it. Right there. Okay. Really good strawberry ice cream. Mine is really dusty. I can't hold it. It's so good. I got this hoodie at the concert that we went to last weekend. Um, all that remains is there. Attila, Escape the Fate, and Sleep Signals. All really good bands. Anyway, I got this yeah, hoodie there. Yeah. And ever since I got it, it's been the target of all the food I eat. Like, everything I eat has been eating it. So it's full of stains. I'm trying to show them this. Can't help it because it's black and it's just gonna show. And now it has kind of sugar all over. You can't go in Target just to go in there and not buy anything. It never happens. Definitely true for me because I am like aunt of the year, always, so I always like have to buy buy stuff for my nieces. I don't have to, but I always do. And especially if they're coming with me, then they always like grab all these things and I can't say no to them. What was that? Uh, oh, so like most Targets, they have Starbucks stores in them as well. So on our way out, we got drinks. I got my usual. Um, I always get a plain iced Americano. It has a lot of caffeine. I love strong, 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 strong black coffee. And then I drank some of this, but I got the violet drink. It is amazing. So it has like the very, very hibiscus like tea that they use like in the very hibiscus um, drink. It's a refresher and then they put coconut milk in there and blackberries and it's so freaking good. If you ever try it, like you have to try the Violet drink. And Brianna, what'd you get? She got the pink drink. So it has the strawberry acai drink and then they put coconut milk in there and then um, strawberries and nice and just ice in there and it's really good. So the pink and violet drink are to die for. So Not the Americano. Oh and we saw um, Hannah in there who we both know from work. She's really cool. And she made her, well she made my drink. Did you make mine? No. Oh. And that other girl. That other Still, girl it's really good. Her, kind of seemed dumb. Seemed, wait, wait, wait. Kind of mm -hmm. seemed. No, no, I didn't say. I said, kind of seemed. Um. Kind of confused. Kind of rushed. And she was struggling to drink wine. I didn't say seemed. Dumb. Seemed. Um. I'm still trying to get my Yeah, it's really But Hannah did a good job. Thanks, Hannah, if you watch this video. You're right. You're right. Hannah. Your makeup was on point today. It was fantastic. Oh, Brianna says that peeps taste like lotion. I totally agree. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. I know. So does it go like this? Because it doesn't look a chick to me. It looks like a turkey. I think oh. it's like this. Like a ghost. It looks like a cool, a cool ghost. Okay. <laughs> so good. 
and it's gluten and fat free. Just want to throw that out there. If you're one of the people that has one of those really fake gluten intolerances that is not really real, then you like to say that they're like from the I'm already done. <laughs> I was totally unaware, unaware that Target, probably other stores, have these pickle chip things. Yeah, they're really good. You can buy them like at even convenience stores. And I don't remember where we discovered them. And they have these ones, and then they also have the spicy ones. I love spicy cookies. Nice thick cut. Oh, they're cold. They're kept in the refrigerator section. They're still crunchy like crossing pickles. They're not all rubbery and see-through like the glasses. That's really good. <laughs> so good. Okay, <clears throat> so little disclaimer. Especially for all of the people that know Lauren. Ain't focusing on this part. I found <laughs> we found these gummies in the in the candy section. They have this one that's mojito. They have another one that is uh, wine flavored, fruit and rosé. These are gummies. However, disclaimer: they are totally non-alcoholic. They look like. But we thought we'd try them. They smell lime and mint like a mojito, mojito should. Still taste pickles. I taste like a little lime, but yeah, you're right. I kind of probably taste more pickles. So if you were in your backyard, probably a couple drinks in. I've never had alcohol before, and so I don't know what to compare it to. So. It's, a, it's a good mojito. It's kind of weak. Because it doesn't have alcohol. It's yeah. But it's still pretty good. It's mm -hmm. still pretty close. Yeah. I think that's going to end today's video for a second time. In case. Unless. Very huge meal. We had a lot of fun today. We went to Whataburger, we went to Target, we went around Target, came up with a lot of stuff that we probably didn't need. But totally. Can't walk out of Target without spending at least 50 bucks on crap. So once again, thank you, Miss Lauren. Thank you, little Miss Brianna, for being in the video today. I'm sure you'll see them again because there's a lot of other things to try out in the So, thank you again and thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. That's so important. And make sure to share with others and like. Thank you very much. And we'll see you.